Now that we've built our African penguin habitat and look at it with all the people coming in, they love it. Now we've built this and we've also built our pygmy hippo habitat over here. I feel like we've kind of completed this uh, three dome section that we were doing and uh, we can move a little bit further on in the zoo. Oh, we've just had offspring. Oh, some more baby otters joined. Hello, hello. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, no, we're about to inbreed. We don't want to do this. Uh, quickly jump away. Don't do that. It must be getting older. Okay, please don't get pregnant. Please don't breed. Good. Yes. No scoop. Bad scoop. Don't be, don't be breeding with the children. That's not a good thing to do. I think Melman just kicked them. <laughs> or Gina. One of the two. Anyway, I mean, I'm not against it. You shouldn't be breeding with your children. Um, I've just done some research. The pygmy hippos were on level two. Maybe they've got some, they've got more toys. Okay, let's go see if they uh, have enough toys or whether it's something we kind of already had. I'm going to pause the game as well because too much is happening. Uh, we got breed new habitat animal. Let's claim that little reward. Um, and then we need to make our zoo slightly more expensive because people love it. I'm going to say it's going to be 14 and 7. I'm just going to keep going up in two zoo dollars and then one for the child. So it's like half price for kids. Um, I, we should also start thinking about marketing at some, po at some point. But at the minute, I just want to get our education up and make sure that everyone's all happy and healthy. At the minute, we've got low welfare here. I think that's just because of stress. Yeah, so it's because they, they eat here in front of everyone. Um, they don't have to, though. We have got uh, ball feeders. So if they want to, they could eat a bit further away and they can always go and hide. So I don't think that's a massive issue. Uh, one thing that's interesting as well is we have a lot of exhibit animals. Uh, if we go to exhibit trading and go to look at all of these that we have. That's amazing. So we've done a really good job of breeding all these animals. And I think we'll just select all of them and sell them all. Wow, look at that. 8,000. Boom. Ah, oh, that's a nice hit of cash, isn't it? And then we should probably take a look at how many animals we've got in all our exhibits. I have a feeling... Oh, we've got some baby penguins. How did I not see this? Look at you. Look. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them go. Just waddling towards the water. And they know where the, they know where the food is. I assume they can swim at this age. Seem very... Oh. Why is it whenever I zoom in on an animal, one of them does a poo? Are you going to poo? Oh my goodness. That's an interesting way to sit. Oh, So cute. You're going to run inside the shelter. Because it's raining. Oh, we've got some serious thunder coming in. Some bassy thunder. Uh, there's no ATMs and they still think tickets are under price. Are you sure? I think we need some more uh, facilities, to be honest, before we get anything else. And I think probably we'll aim to have, maybe we should have a big facilities area here. And, oh, just heavy thunder. I'm trying to think where we've not um, utilized. I think this is going to go to a different section of the park over, over this way. Um, and we can maybe have uh, our carpi habitat, which is going to be the species for this episode. Um, the Akarpi. Just thinking of a good place to have it. Look at them. They're endangered. They need quite a lot of land. Okay, wow. So what? They live in one to two. Those penguins are so noisy. They need a lot of a lot of space, but that's fine. We can give them space. And grade two over 1.25. That's a pretty uh, small fence, so that's okay. Ooh, people are coming for a little talk on the pygmy hippos. Um, anyway, back to what we were actually doing. We need to check how many we've got of everything because I think we've got quite a lot of, yeah, we've got quite a lot of uh, otters now, which isn't necessarily a problem. I just want to check that they're okay and there's not too many of them. Okay, they're okay. There's probably quite a lot of them though because I'm not sure they're good on the space necessarily. Um, can check that by looking at the land area and everything, comparing it to... Uh, comparing it to what it says in the Zoopedia about them, but I'm not going to necessarily do that because I know that we're, we're probably reaching a bit of a limit there. So I think what's probably best is if we take our, some of our otters and release them into the wild. So 
who who to pick, I guess. Maybe we should just do the classic thing of going for the the older ones. If this is the where have we got? We've got one male that's breeding at the minute, which is Runa. Maybe if we select them. I don't want them to get too old in here either. Maybe we'll just get the, uh, the four older boys. Yeah. That leaves two. That leaves Large Larry and Rosie. And we can say goodbye to Runa, Henson, Tay, and Lupo. I think we'll do that. Let's send them to... St we could just release them directly. So let's just release into the wild. Oh, wow. This is going to be a lot of credits. Let's release all four of these. There we go. Oh, release one up. We've got another reward. We're getting cash. We get conservation credits. It's great. <gasps> oh, no. Pearl died. Oh, bless. I think she was the uh, the original female, actually. I think it was Big Tony and Pearl. Oh, she didn't even show up on this. That's so savage. <laughs> oh, the game had already decided she wasn't she wasn't to be uh, discussed. We need more ATMs. This seriously wants me to put ATMs in. I will put ATMs in. Um, let me uh, have a moment of silence for uh, for poor Pearl with the with the sprinkler there. Oh no, that's so sad. It's like a Lion King moment. No, go away, Elena. Don't, don't look. Probably her grandma. Goodness. Okay, I think we need to put in some ATMs, as we keep getting told. In fact, I can just click. Oh, no, it's not there anymore. Let's go guest facilities. Get some ATMs. Unless, I mean, I don't think there are any uh, blueprints for ATMs. Are there? No, I don't think so. Just because that would be interesting. Um, no, I think we'll just put some ATMs in. I'm not necessarily sure whether we need to spice them up too much. I'm, ha I'm quite happy to just put some in, like, over here. Uh, if we have, like, change the color scheme, maybe, so they look a little bit less ugly. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. It's a little bit of a nicer kind of brown that I've gone for there. Um, and then some, some greens. Um, just going to duplicate that. I'm going to have, not right next to each other, because that would be a little bit uncomfortable. going to leave a little bit of space. Have them like this, maybe here, and then do the same over here. Uh, we could put the price as, as zero. I don't think you should charge to make people use the ATM. They're already taking out more money so that they can buy stuff. I think that's enough to uh, to ask of people. And that's probably way too many ATMs as well, but it's not really a big hardship for the zoo. So I'm just going to add them to the zoo work zone so our mechanic can fix them if they get vandalized. Probably a good area to put a camera in, but perhaps we'll do a bit more security later. We've already got one security guard. So many. Oh, they're breeding again. Scoop. He's just constantly breeding. I mean, he's he's great from that perspective as far as a conservation zoo. We're, we're, we're keeping everyone alive. Keeping all the species going. But yeah, just calm down, mate. Um, I think maybe we'll go... So I think we've got an area here. We should probably put in a few shops here and then we can have one habitat here and then a nice area. So I'm going to put the acarpies in right here, I think. And seeing as we're going wooden, let's put a... Try and keep them... No, we're going to have a new zone. So we're going to put that right over here. Okay, I quite like this. There's a little bit of a weird shape we're going for here. Um, I wanted to keep a little bit of space between here. So we've got two barriers and they're not like, there's not animals on both sides that are knocking down the barriers. And also so that, you know, we could put a little path through here if we needed, like a little staff path. Um, there'd, be, there'd be enough room there to have a path in uh, if we need it at a later date. For now though, I think this also gives us a good amount of space to have this on seven meters. And now we can edit the barrier and put some panels in. I'm going to put some glass in there. So I've got one viewing area there and then a big one here. I should have really checked uh, what the situation is with the copies as far as how they how they feel about it. Right, so they're shy and guests can enter the habitat. Okay, what I do generally, even if guests can enter the habitat, if the animal's shy, I just tend to avoid it because 
you have to build in so much uh, privacy stuff and and it, it's not really fair on the animals if they're shy around humans and they shouldn't really have to have humans walking through their habitat all the time so we're gonna have a couple in here let's just check the size requirements this is big enough for them it's 1964 and they're gonna need say two adults maybe three babies at once the maximum they're gonna need one 400 so it's uh, it's definitely large enough we could always put in a little bit more space as well if we uh if we're feeling extra generous I might just knock out this wall and make it a little bit bigger um like that um, just add a little bit extra tip into that 2000 <laughs> there you go now we've got it we've got a nice little habitat here and we're going to need to make sure that it's i don't think it's going to reach the new water area so we're going to need a new water pump so that's something we have to keep in mind i think this is going to become a little uh staff area as well i've got a little one in here we're going to need a small uh, utilities area uh, not blueprints only we want water pump i'm going to add it to this group and just have uh two right here Need to check whether that's going to impact our guests negatively. It is. Okay, we're going to move this back then. Let's put it back here. Um, that's not going to impact anyone. We can turn this off and have a nice little staff path uh, on four meters that connects in with this one. There we go. Now that's that's far enough back. We'll do something prettier with these when we've kind of built up the areas around a bit more. But like we're probably gonna have habitats around here, and I want to do that like kind of finalize it before we uh, before we make them look a certain way. Now we, I mean, we also know we need to move these across. It's gonna just move these benches across. So they're not blocking the view. Got to give the people somewhere to sit. That's what I always say. <laughs> I don't always say that. That's that's not true at all. But it is true in this case. Um, we should get some animal, uh, some carpies. Got to love the part of the episode where we actually buy the animal. <laughs> However far in we are now. Okay, this is a good one, actually. That's a good male as well. I'm going to get this male. Um, if we sort by appeal, I think it's, it's uh, the first one we clicked on, yeah gonna go for her okay very nice and easy very cheap animals as well and let's let's send them both to quarantine uh, oh let's look at these as well oh they're so cute they're the weirdest looking animals I think we have not in front of your baby a little watermelon just stood there watching Wow, they live quite a long time as well. They're like 20 years old. And then they're just adults. They're not like old or anything. So that's cool. I wonder how long they live. I know it says in the Zoopedia. I'm just not going to check. <laughs> oh, and you're stressed as well. See, this is the problem. If they're shy when they're babies. See, obviously the adults aren't shy, but the babies are. And to, I mean, to eat, they can come in here. But I don't know whether they can swim super well. So they might have to come here to get food, which we could resolve. But I don't think it's a massive, massive problem. Um, if there's if it's proving to be an issue and they're not eating or something and we get low welfare because of that then then we'll definitely move stuff across but at the minute they're just stressed and we could very easily just put some signs in that say uh, please be quiet like do not disturb signs now wherever the guests are they should be told to be quiet and you can see they're a lot quieter oh maybe they're not maybe that was just because we were in the view no, they're definitely a lot quieter. So hopefully that will stress them out a little bit less. We, uh, I don't think it's the same over here, but maybe, yeah, maybe they would help here too. In fact, I'm going to put some in near the Gnarl Lechwee just because we know that they get really stressed too. Let's put one here. Turn the heat map back on. They're not the most aesthetic, and you, if you want, you can just sink them into the ground and they still work underground, but... I just find that a bit odd and I'd, I'd like I don't hate them that much <laughs> I think they're okay so as long as people know keep quiet around these these habitats it's it's a reasonable sign and hopefully that'll help the stress out a little bit as well in it and later on we'll have uh, one-way barriers so one-way glass so we'll just use that and it won't be a problem um, had babe not more had more baby otters these otters are going to be the the cash cows of our of our whole zoo who done more research on the pygmy hippo right let's go have a look 
see what we've got. Pee 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 pee. Pig me hippo. There we go. Oh, there's lots. I don't think we've got all of this. There's lots we don't have. Wow. Okay. So a melon feeder. Okay. Where are they needed over here? Let's put a melon feeder right there. Um, then we've got rubbing pad. That's okay. It can go over here by the tree. Uh, let's get a skittle in there. Should it go in the water? No, it can go like here. A little play area. Um, I think they've already got large barrel feeders. Yeah, they've already got large barrel feeder, so that's fine. That's quite a lot, though. And they got a scratching tree as well. Oh, I don't think they'll like this because of... Maybe they will. Should I put a scratching tamarind in? See what they think of that. Yeah, they're okay with it. Oh, no. They're not supposed to be on their own. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, don't worry. We will get you a friend. Oh, it is two. It's two to four. I thought it was just one. Okay. Our next mission. Find Motomoto his own Gloria. Pygmy Hippo, come on. Oh, I'm looking in. I need to look in the animal market. Pygmy Hippo. Oh, there's one male. We don't we don't want you. Wakesa. We'll, we'll get another female in this episode. No crime for three months. That's pretty good. We've got a one, a one security guard. That's going okay. Maybe we should train up our staff as well. Just to periodically go through. Make sure everyone's getting trained. Be good at your jobs, everyone. Please. Thank you. Yeah, they're okay. They're okay. Right. I think they're good. They're past quarantine. So let's get both of them. And let's move them into their habitat. Which is going to be definitely be the uh, the wrong everything. You still think the tickets are underpriced? Wow, okay. Let's just go... I'm going to say 18 and 9. Doing a big jump. Because we've got quite some quite cool guests in. It could probably be more than that. But I don't want them to keep telling me that. <laughs> What's damaged? Ooh, okay. Let's have a look at uh, vandalism. Which you can do. You go to... Where is it? Audio visual? No. Crime. Right, vandalize, replace, replace. Don't want vandalized stuff in our zoo. Oh my goodness. We're about to have a giraffe baby. All, everything else is secondary to Gina having a baby. Oh, she's definitely uncomfortable. Is she gonna sit down? I think they have lied down. Oh yeah, she's lying down. Here we go. Our first baby giraffe. <gasps> Look at you, you little scamp. Oh, look at you, Abeo. Oh, I've got a female. We had lots of suggestions for male giraffes, but not any, I don't think, for female giraffes. So maybe if you guys want to suggest some giraffes, uh, like female names, that'd be great. Got a, got a new one in here. Look at how small she is, though. Adorable. Okay, we need to go also check our Akapi because they have probably, yeah, they've just been added. Wow, look at them. Look how beautiful they are. They're like a really pretty horse, aren't they? You can just hear the, the caretaker like, da, 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 in the background. <laughs> go on, do it again. Go on. That's what we're here for. That's the stuff. <laughs> oh, goodness. Who's a little me? Oh, we've got the other one in as well. Wow, look at him. He's got bigger horns. Is that just me? I think the, the males have the bigger horns on the front. Yeah, the females have got like the, the brow, but the, the males have got full on horns. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Because I don't want them to get stressed walking around in the wrong type of environment. And we need to change this terrain to be what they want.
Okay. How's that? That's, that's quite a lot of water. I don't know how much they actually need. Um, let's go a coffee. How much water did they want? They don't want any particular. It's just to drink from. So, in fact, this is a little bit overkill. Um, let's go for a much lower water level. And then we can smooth out the terrain a bit more. It doesn't all need to be rock. We can, we can repaint that a little bit so it's a bit more soily. They've got some rock in there now. Yeah, they're very happy with that. They need some hard shelter and they need more plants. And it's tropical plants from Africa. So these are going to be amazing. I love these. We're going to get some rocks in there as well. Um, it's going to be great. Okay, I think I've added the rock section of, uh, of this build. I think I might just move this across very slightly. There we go. Had to throw in a little waterfall, didn't I? Like I couldn't, I couldn't resist. And we've got quite a lot of rocks. I've just kind of put them in as like these little rock uh, formations. Um, I, I don't think, well, because they're shy, I think they're gonna need areas to go and hide behind. And this gives them quite a lot of shelter from the, uh, from the guests. They've also got this back area, which is quite well concealed. But hopefully with this, they can go and uh, go and hide. And um, we're also going to need to set up a new work zone for them. So I'm going to add in this. And we're probably just going to use these two buildings here. And um, we've got the Keeper Hut and the Staff Room there. And then we can call this Africa. Uh, let's just call it Africa Middle for now. I don't know where it's going to be as far as the location of in the zoo. Um, we also clearly need to add in the water pump to the work zone. So it's just glowing red there. Let's put it in zoo and then we need to get ourselves a keeper so let's get a keeper and assign them to africa middle now they've got their very own keeper to go check up on everyone and we need to add it into zoo as well i think if i haven't done that already no i haven't added it into zoo so then our uh, mechanic and our vet will go and have a look at it as well keep an eye on everyone make sure it's all good um this hopefully gives them enough rock and everything that they're happy. Um, I need to check that they can't escape. I'm going to click Habitat and then click on them. Yeah, so these are all the areas they can access. They can stand on there if they want. They could jump on it. Um, but they can't escape, which is great. And we know that the wooden barriers are strong enough because they only needed uh, resistance uh, grade 2. And the wooden barriers are grade 3. So we're definitely fine with that. Um, we are going to put in some nature now. I'm going to put in some plants and see how it turns out. Okay, I think I've rammed as many plants as I can actually get in there. We've got to 68% coverage. There's so many plants in here now. Um, all different types. I love these strangler fig trees. They're awesome. They're huge as well. Um, we've got some beautiful palms in here, some tamarinds, some coastal mangroves. I, I positioned this one on the rocks a bit more, but it's got the roots going into the water, which I thought was just a bit cool. If we play, we've got the waterfall. I just feel like this is a really nice little area for them. And hopefully it still gives them enough tra uh, traversable area that they're, yeah, they're definitely fine. Um, so that's still great. It gives them enough land that they're, they're happy and can move around. Oh my goodness, we've had axolotl offspring. Oh wow, we've got two, two rewards as well. Look at us go. Um, t tickets are underpriced. If you say that one more time, I'm just going to make it a million pounds to get in. And we're just going to be rich, except no one will get in. 
Wow, I'm so many offspring all over the place. Let's have a look at our baby uh, axolotl, though. Oh my goodness, there's four of them. Right, we need to put on management. Okay, four is the maximum. Look at them. How adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many species. Let's quick trade them. Wow, very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, one thing I missed actually was that we need to. Um, thanks, someone highlighted it in the comments, and thank you. I didn't put the. Uh, I was going to pause. I didn't put the the screen at the back uh, to be. Oh, is it customized? Oh, probably window four. No, three. Th window three. I put it on uh, a facade for the rest of them. Do you not have a three D facade? Oh, okay. Well, we'll go two D. Um, it's just clear, and that looks a lot nicer. Just have a bit of a an environment at the back. <laughs> One thing I haven't done at all as well, which I'm going to do right now, again, pause the game, is hire a, another educator. And who's this? No, not Wilford. You're going to be called Steve Irwin, as was suggested in the comments. And again, a really good suggestion. And he's even blonde. Look at him. Um, but we're going to assign an educator to talk about all of our... Um, Exhibit animals. So I'm going to set, where is he, educators. Let's put you on, um, uh, where is it, exhibits. And then you can start doing that. I think they just need, I don't know how, quite how it works. I don't know whether they'll start getting them out now or whether they need to have little, um, little stands like education stands in fact if you could let me know in the comments that'd be great because it's a new feature and i'm not 100 percent on how it works yet um how many penguins have we got we're gonna need to start setting population controls on these too many probably too many um we also need to get our food in check the vet research i've not been keeping an eye on but we probably don't need to research more for the pygmy hippos i'm gonna change that onto the uh the African penguins now and I think yeah that's okay everyone else is fine maybe uh, Paige should start researching the Akapi. Paige should probably also get a new name because everyone else has been getting a new name and we do have a couple of uh, su suggests for the new vets I think we're going to go with Beverly Ann which I think was our first suggestion for uh, the second vet So we have Beverly Ann. Hope you're happy whoever suggested this one. Um, I assume Beverly. Cool, I'm just training everyone up. We can also go through and potentially just rename all of our staff while we're here. So I'm gonna do that quickly. We're gonna have Steve Backshaw for uh, one of our keepers. Gonna combine two here and have Howard Vince for another one of our keepers. We're going to have Quandale Tingle be another one of our keepers. Very interesting suggestion. Very funny. And our last keeper is going to be called Brogan. Our mechanic is going to be very close to this. Going to be Jedi Operative Jenna, <laughs> which is a, a long, interesting name. And we haven't actually had any more suggestions for educators or security guards or caretakers. So if you do have any name suggestions for the staff, please do put them in the comments and we'll be sure to rename them in the next ones. And I think the final thing we need to do is put some enrichment in here. I just love this little waterfall. I love these waterfall pieces so much. If you get the aquatic pack, you get these waterfall pieces and they're just such a lifesaver of having to create a manual waterfall. Um, I'm gonna go into habitat. Let's look at enrichment and filter by a carpy. If you have name suggestions for the Akapi as well, please do uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to uh, name one of them. Although we have already had one uh, name suggestion. So we've got Scotch is the male and uh, the female we still need a name for. So if you do come up with one, please let me know. Um, ooh, oh, we've got to have a Scots Pine uh, scratching post then, don't we? For Scotch, just at the back. They happy with them? It seems like it's the wrong type of tree. No, they're absolutely fine with it. Let's put in a couple. Let's put another tamarind because we've already got tamarinds in here. So it just makes sense. And actually, I might put it right here at the front because then 
it's like they're gonna go up to it and be a bit more visible for the guests. And we don't actually need a rubbing pillar in that case because we've already got that. Um, maybe we should have a sprinkler over the back somewhere. So they have some enrichment nearer the back of the uh, the habitat. And they're probably missing, <laughs> so I didn't think about that. They're probably missing hard shelter. Yeah, they've got some, but not a lot. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's just in this instance, it's better to just use a standard wooden shelter that we've got. Um, could use one of these. It'd be quite nice to have a little wooden shelter built into the, uh, the environment. And that looks quite good. Um, we just need to move this banana palm out. And this big old sausage tree um, can just go over there. Can you access? Yes, they can. Let's get some bedding in there then. Can have some extra large bedding. Which is probably enough. But I'll grab a couple. I have one here. And one uh, here. There we go. Now we've, got, we've definitely got enough bedding for them. That should be enough hard shelter for them now. Yeah, they're definitely happy with that. They've got enough hard shelter in case it rains. It's nice and hidden away. So if they're shy, they can go back there too. I think we're pretty good. They could do a little bit more. They need some food enrichment, but I don't think we have that yet. So they're just gonna have to wait on that one. Um, yeah, until we get some more food enrichment. But when, we, when we're when uh, we researching them, we'll, uh, we'll have more, more enrichment then. We're gonna claim a reward. Tickets are still underpriced. I'm going to put them up again to 22. Uh, let's go 22 and 11. Okay, I had to add in a couple of solar panels, um, but I've just put some boards on their own, just on the uh, on the habitat, um, rather than putting in our whole structure that we made in previous episodes, just because I think it's um, it's a little bit more, well, it's a little bit easier and it's a little bit more convenient because otherwise this, this walkway is going to get very clogged. Um, if, if we start building into it as well. I haven't put any uh, education speakers on here just because, um, well, it's we're two animals in there as well. We could do, but we've got an educational talk as well. And I think that probably covers it quite well. So I've just left it as it is there. Um, I can't really see our educational talk um, currently. Maybe I didn't add it in, but I'm pretty sure I did. No, I haven't added that in. So I need to add that in now. Let's get that talk point duplicate and let's put it around here probably probably best to be about here um so let's go here this is going to be in november um i just had to check the other dates against the other ones but yeah it's going to be in november um there needs an educator assigned so we just, all we need to do is add it to the work zone um which i think is just zoo for these um along with these two solar panels we just put in um, and they should get straight on it doing that. Throw food path is blocked because it's tall, but that's absolutely fine. They don't need to. This is where they get fed anyway. So there'll always be giraffes around here. Um, and I think that's pretty cute as it is. So the only other thing we have to do is add a bit of education around here. We haven't added them in here, but I think we'll do that in another episode um, because I just want to make sure that we've sorted out our copies for now. And I don't want this episode to run too long. So let's get some boards in. And look at them, look at them in there. I think all their, need, their needs are met now apart from the uh, the food enrichment. But if we go on our vet research, we're researching penguins and a carpy, so we'll get there eventually. Um, for now, I think they're quite happy. And I'm quite happy with what we've done in this episode. If you have liked this episode, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.